If you're like me, your entire wardrobe consists of free t-shirts that you've either gotten from friends who designed them or from conferences or you've designed them yourself. So if you're a graphic designer at some point in your career, you're gonna have to design a t-shirt. So I thought it'd be a good idea to go over five of the most iconic typefaces for t-shirts. Number one, let's get Helvetica out of the way first. Um, experimental Jet Set treats Helvetica extremely lovingly. And even though I'm a person that uh, is a little bit against default typography choices, uh, I think this is a pretty iconic use. And you know it's iconic because it's been ripped off so many dozens of times. Remember, tighten up the spacing on Helvetica and stack that letting really tight when you do these knockoffs um, or better yet just don't do them next on the list would be maybe my personal favorite cooper black it has such a rich history in iron-on transfer letters that it is maybe the quintessential t-shirt typeface I've worked with a couple of art directors that wouldn't go near Cooper Black because it is so linked to t-shirts in this way, but I think that's kind of what makes it awesome. It's also kind of indestructible. You can shrink it down, blow it way up, and it's always going to kind of work. I think that's thanks to the large X height and the general proportions of the typeface. Just make it work really well for t-shirts. And it's been used uh, probably most famously on the Vote for Pedro t-shirt from Napoleon Dynamite. Whether it's all caps, uh, capitals and lowercase, it's gonna work Mwah! every time. Next is not a typeface exactly, but more just the idea of collegiate style lettering that's all geometric in construction. And you see it featured on the iconic college t-shirt that John Belushi's character wore in Animal House. Except that wasn't even a t-shirt, it was actually a crew neck sweater, but at any rate, it's been printed on many, many t-shirts since then. And a similar style is employed on the famous John Lennon New York City t-shirt. So for those two uses, I think we gotta give this genre of type a spot on our top five list. Another personal favorite of mine would be the quintessential anti-establishment typeface. Talking, of course, about Frizz Quadrata, made famous maybe by the Black Flag logo. Uh, since then, other companies have gravitated towards it, I think because of that usage, like Anti-Hero or Anti-Social Social Club, which in the last couple of years has sold a buttload of t-shirts and hoodies with this simple little graphic on the back. So Frizz Quadrata looks pretty good right out of the box. You don't have to do too much stuff to it. It's always going to look gnarly uh, unless you're going for the lower case and then it doesn't really uh, have the same chutzpah. Merchandise with Milton Glaser's iconic I Heart New York design on them still generate $30 million a year. And for that reason, I think ITC American Typewriter really deserves a spot on this list. It's pretty notable for the lowercase a, the lowercase g, but personally, I think Milton should have gone with his own typeface, Baby Teeth. Now that we have that out of the way, I wanted to go over a couple of typefaces I'd like to see more on t-shirts. One might be Neil Bold. It's kind of a deceptively funky typeface. Looks geometric and then there's a lot of fun stuff going on, but it's got those t-shirt proportions that look really good, like the large X height, short A senders and D senders. It just packs a lot of punch and I dig it. For that reason, I think you got to throw Cable Black and the 70s versions of those uh, sorts of typefaces in there as well. But let's go to something that's maybe the last decade or so. Uh, I think Blimey by Love Letters, available on Future Fonts, is a really cool, fun design right now. It's all capitals, but I think that would work exceptionally well on someone's garment. Uh, 
And I gotta say, my own typeface is like Ono Blaze face and Hobo definitely had t-shirt use in mind when I was working on them. So it would really make me pretty stoked to see those wind up on a couple of shirts. If you're looking for something a little bit less expressive, I would say check out all the sands at Commercial Type. They are just cranking out excellent stuff all the time. Druk, graphic, platform, all exceptional sands that would work really, really well on a shirt. So the next time you're working on a t-shirt or you're just typesetting a small phrase or a couple of words in any way, just remember how useful it can be to look for something with a large X height and really compact proportions. I think it just makes your job a lot easier as a designer. And if all else fails, go with baby teeth. Thanks for watching.